Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber here again, back with another cryptocurrency video and today I want to talk about a few coins, alright? I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today in today's video as well, okay? And um, what I'm going to be doing is looking at three coins that people have recommended in my comments, alright? And I'm going to start doing that regularly from now on, okay? Maybe once a week, I haven't decided yet. But if you send me coins and you say, oh, have a look at this one, check this one out, I will pick three coins out of those um, on a weekly basis, potentially, okay? And what I will do is I will cover them in real time just to give you a first glance and see what my first impression, um, my, what my first impressions are of those coins, all right? It's not going to be no deep dives, but what we'll do is we'll have a look at the coins, we'll see if there's any upcoming news coming for them, and we'll see what I think of them in regards to coin market cap, and, and the website and anything that might be coming up all right so we do that okay let me know if you think that's a good idea guys i'll do it in this video but let me know if you think that's a good idea going forward okay so getting into safe haven okay so i basically uh want to share some news all right so safe haven has partnered with matic network okay and they will be rolling out in india all right so safe haven is breaking into india that's a good thing, I guess, you know, we've been talking about Safe Haven for a while, and Matic Network is obviously a good project, I wonder, um, you know, I haven't kind of look, even looked at the chart for Matic in a little while, but Matic is definitely one that is uh, quite a big name in India, and for them to partner up with Safe Haven, that just validates um, a, a for, for, for inheritance solutions on a blockchain in India, that just validates uh, Safe Haven's worth, and uh, yeah, I think Safe Haven could go potentially far. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, that's great news. Um, be careful with the Safe Haven chart, obviously, looking at something, uh, looking at it on KuCoin, all right? If this is the first place that you see in Safe Haven, you need to go back and check the history, all right, because, um, you know, you never know what could happen, okay? It's struggling to make a new high over here. And to be fair, it has been bouncing around for a little while. Several times I thought it was the end, all right, but... Um, you know, Safe Haven just kept going up. You can see some of my triangles. We've been, we've been following this for a while, okay? And, you know, if you were in down here, you would have made a lot of money on Safe Haven. All right, guys? We're looking at huge gains in Safe Haven in the thousands of percentage and uh, two and a half thousand percent. I mean, that is a great gain, guys. Okay? And there's been no real correction yet, okay? We've got these small corrections, all right, but no full retrace, okay, so that is potentially on the cards, that can still come, but we'll have to wait and see how that plays out at the end of the day, right about now, it's still, not, it's not made a higher high, okay, but it's not also not made a lower, uh, a, high, uh, a lower low yet, all right, this is still a higher low, we'll have to wait and see whether this can break back to the upside, it could potentially put in a W pattern if you, if you invalidate that, um, you know, we could see it go back to the upside, but we'd have to wait and see. I personally think, I mean, um, I personally think that it's, it's, it's better to wait at the moment, okay? You've got the RSI, which is coming down. It's in the neutral zone. It's not oversold. It's not overbought at the moment, but it is sitting at around a 45 level, okay? You won't, if it gets down into the 30 level, that would be a better place to kind of buy. Um, on the MACD, you can see there is a MACD cross, and that's bullish, or uh, sorry, bearish, sorry, and that um, the momentum is going to the downside, and that is on the four hour, of course, on the one day, it is looking extremely bearish, okay, um, as it looks like you could be getting a MACD cross, uh, a bearish MACD cross, but it hasn't happened yet, and things could always turn around, okay, first thing I see when I come on here is I see a potential triangle, okay and this has actually been holding uh it's been breaking out of all of these triangles okay so that is another potential outcome it could get a break out of there but if it does break bearish out of out of this triangle you know um and it comes below these levels as you can see the next support line is down here and that's a very thin support line considering safe haven is in price discovery could come all the way back down to this level all right 
and that will be a potential buy zone to start scaling in all right and then your dollar cost average as it moves down further if it does okay but that is what i'm looking at with safe haven all right we'll have to wait and see how that plays out on qcoin obviously it got the initial pump when it was listed and it performed better than what i thought it would because i thought we were going to get a big sell-off but it didn't actually come it's been holding and um, now it's putting in an m pattern on here and it could just continue to the downside so you know definitely long-term potential for safe haven still new new partnership with matic network and um, breaking into india but yeah in the short term i think it could potentially have a little bit more downside don't hate me for my opinion all right guys it's just my opinion and i could be wrong at the end of the day and you know i'll accept it if i am okay but that is safe haven all right now one thing i said that i wanted to do is i wanted to talk about a few coins uh, and i'm going to pick i'll pick three out of the bunch that uh, you guys have sent me over the past week all right two of them came through today because they came through so early uh, uh, today i thought you know i might as well do it early all right so um yeah hopefully this is something that you guys will enjoy all right so starting with lambden okay now it's just a quick look at lambden because i did look at it previously all right you can see that it has a market cap of 25 million so it's quite low cap especially considering the total supply of 288 million rank number 324 on cmc okay uh it's an erc20 token okay and the ticker is tau that's tau can't remember who actually posted this one but it stayed with me only because uh the one thing that i know is, is it does have the mainnet coming all right now people like to buy the test net and sell the mainnet all right so this could uh, and uh, this could pump because uh a lot of the times projects with a bit of steam behind them and they need kind of pump in the last two weeks before the mainnet and um, that it's not uh, out of the ordinary for that to happen all right so this is available on uniswap if you did want to put something in on that and kind of see whether that could take you to new heights all right um you could do all right not something that i would be but yeah i'm just speculating on that i'll keep an eye on it and see exactly what happens on there um we're not going to go on coin trading and look at a chart we'll just go by the coin market cap chart but as you can see it does look like it is kind of heading to the upside if it takes out this previous high over here at a 45 million dollar market cap could, could potentially see you know a big a big rise out of that but i don't know enough about the project my first impressions are that it has a mainnet okay and the website looks okay um it is actually what is lambda all right so lambda if i'm going back all right landon is a brand new blockchain that solves everything so it's like a new internet creating smart smart, smart contracts um through the blockchain it's kind of that just that sums it up all right um obviously you can monetize as well and it, it just helps you like you can learn how to do that and they receive 90 percent of all transaction fees that are processed through this smart contract that you build and that allows you to generate revenue automatically from the applications all right guys so you can get monetized straight away um, if you are doing this obviously i'm not that technical not that much of a technical technical computer whiz all right guys i know how to do the things that i need to do but you know i'm not i'm not educated on blockchain building and all that sort of stuff but yeah this could appeal to a lot of people okay as you can see uh, like we said um on coin market cap it does look like it's curling to the upside probably better to put it on a bigger um, a smaller time frame actually rather than the whole thing so we'll go on the seven day i have a look it's obviously in an uptrend or right, it is curling over actually if we have a look if we narrow it down um to month first okay yeah it's clearly in an uptrend it's been going in it's been going up since july um will it get that big impulse to the upside let's have a look on the one day okay it's in a short term downtrend on the one day all right guys so make sure you do your research on that you know um if you were investing in this it's based on speculation uh for the main all right there is nothing else coming up on it and how you can check um whether there's any news coming on these uh on these coins the the, the quick the quickest thing to do is not to check coin market cap but coin market cow okay so if you didn't know about this uh, this is why you sometimes to find um, um, you know what news is is out there 
All right, guys. As you can see, we've looked at Yam before. Um, we Not on the channel. Me and a, a friend of mine, we looked at Yam. We actually did take a position in Yam. And we took uh, some profits there on Yam. Okay. And that, that's a Yam version 2, by the way. Because I don't know if you guys have seen what happened to Yam version 1. But that actually got wrecked. All right, guys. Um, probably no point in talking about that on this video. But, uh, yeah. This is what we use to find out what's going on in the space, okay? So when you are using it, uh, CoinMarketCal, you can look at more than one coin at a time, okay? But for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to look with Tau at the moment, and then we'll show you that you have to untick from it, okay? If you want to just look at one, or you can tick many, and you can look at all of them at the same time, all right? But if you want to just see all the news only for Tau, for example, or Lambda, we would just put it in there, make sure that's the only one clicked, we'll press the question mark. Okay, now this has actually updated because uh, when I checked the other day, the only thing that was on here was the mainnet launch. So this has been added in on the 28th of August, okay? Um, today, yesterday, sorry. Okay, this was on the 3rd of August added in, okay? So now they've got an Ask Me Anything, uh, join London CEO and CTO for an AMA. AMA room by X Network in Telegram. Okay, so yeah, you can keep an eye on things like this and you can see what's coming up. Um, if you were interested, you could go and watch that on the 2nd of September, the AMA in their Telegram group. Okay, but the only thing that really I'm looking at here in regard to a speculative, speculative trade would be the mainnet launch on the 16th of, September, uh, uh, 16th of September. Okay, so there's nothing else really to look forward to on that. So that's Lambda, all right? One that came through today from um, and a comment on my previous video is this one, Swiss Ball, CHSV. And I'm not, I don't know much about it, so I'm gonna look at it now. I'm gonna have a look and see whether, what's my first impression on this, all right, guys? So you'll find out now. Okay, so Swiss Ball aims to make crypto asset management accessible to everyone with the Swiss Ball, Swiss Ball Wealth app. Okay, the first thing that strikes me, if I, if I look at the chart, um, it looks like a potential continuation pattern could be forming, all right? If we lower the time frame to a seven day, it's normally nicer to see on a seven day and a one month on the coin market uh, cap uh, line charts, all right? Okay. It's a bit of a downtrend there. Okay, so it's just going sideways, okay? We're going to one day. And this is just what I do for first impressions. I don't do a full in-depth look at the chart, to be honest, all right? Because if you're looking at a long-term hold, really, you can just look from here and kind of think, okay. And then what you can do is you can go on CoinTrader or you can go on um, TradingView or Coinigy or whatever, and you can kind of pull up the chart and have a proper look and draw your lines and whatever. Okay, so it's going sideways. All right, so on the obviously on the on the full chart. Okay, so we've got history going back uh, to two thousand and eighteen. All right, so it's not new by any means, uh, but you can see we did there. Uh, this pump did come about May time. Okay, from about one cent all the way up to roughly fifteen cents, fifteen x guys, and then um, we got. Continuation pattern going there, ranked 121, got a total supply of 1 billion, market caps 84 million. All right, so the volume 699,000, not a lot of volume coming through, or you know, define a lot, you know. Investing crypto assets the Swiss way, we're helping over 150,000 people worldwide become better. Crypto investors, okay, control your wealth, a trusted and accessible wealth management ecosystem powered by blockchain technology, Swiss Ball puts your wealth back in your hands. So it's a wealth management. I mean, a lot of people use this kind of thing. I personally don't, but, you know, some people need help to kind of manage their assets and stuff like that. And there's definitely a customer base for it, okay? Um, how much of the market share can something like this take? That is the question, okay? You can see that 52 million US dollars was raised in ICO. That's actually quite outstanding. Okay, so in 149 countries, 23,872 
ICO participants, okay? And bearing in mind that was two years ago, all right? And it doesn't look like it's done much. Uh, where am I? Okay, I was trying to go back to coin market cap, but it doesn't look like it's done much since then, all right? But, you know, this is crypto, and sometimes things can take a while to catch on, all right? And we are looking on a coin market cap card, uh, coin, coin market cap chart, so it's not giving us an accurate kind of a look, a, a close look at what was actually going on. All right, but first impressions. I mean, this is this is designed well. All right, um, obviously they're supporting seventeen currencies and they're adding more. Okay, our banking partners belong to the instant, SEPA, and faster payments network. Bank transfers can be completed in as little as five minutes. Who are their banking partners? Let's see if we can find something there. Okay, I always like to look at partners when I'm looking at a coin initially. Okay, and okay, that's not going to give me partners. All right, guys, let me have a look. Uh, let me go back and see if I can find anything. Affiliate program, anything about partners. Okay, let's go on about Swiss Wealth Management to the world. So that's a team, it's quite a large team. All right. Purpose, not just profit, but their values, empowering, not controlling, and so on. Okay. Now, I don't like that. Like, I'd rather they show the, um, you know, um, rather they sh just show the real people's faces, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, can't have everything, can you? Our achievements, top Swiss ICO. As we saw, 53 million, 24,000 people, 149 countries, large crypto community, 22,000 token holders, 100,000 plus community app players, blockchain referendum in 2018, we performed the first referendum on the blockchain, 100 plus events, award award winning, top asset manager, high performing token, crypto nights TV, 4K Netflix quality to YouTube show. No, Netflix quality. Okay. Not Netflix. Okay. Okay, so at first glance, it doesn't seem easy to find anything about partnerships. All right, guys? So, you know, it's always nice to have a quick go-to where you, where you can see partnerships and you can see uh, investors. I uh, can't really see that with this. It does mention the fact that we've got banking uh, partners, but I can't see anything there. All right. So this one doesn't have me jumping out of my seat, um, running to, you know, um, you know, invest. But yeah, my first glance at that, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I would have to do much more research before I, you know, got FOMO. All right, guys. But yeah, Swiss Borg, you know, put that on your radar. Um, I forget what the uh, CHSB, all right, it's on the ticker, yeah, CHSB. Uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about that one. Um, like I said, it does look like a potential continuation pattern there, but we'd have to look, get in the chart and kind of look more clearly. It's not something that I'm thinking, okay, let me go and do a full breakdown on this. Let's see whether I'm going to risk my coins in there. Uh, one thing uh, I'd like to check before we move on, is the market pair. So you can see it's on Uniswap. It's actually on Qcoin. I don't know how I've missed that. All right, it's on Qcoin. And it's on IDEX. Really don't use, like use I, I do have an IDEX account, it's horrible. Okay, but your yeah, Uniswap, um, hit BTC, Qcoin. Maybe we can have a quick look on Qcoin. All right, CHSB. Let's have a closer look before we move on to the next one. On the BTC pair. Okay, it does look like a bit of an, uh, yeah, continuation. You see, is that a potential breakout? On the four hour, of course. Got a potential breakout on this chart, all right, at first glance. Okay. Big triangle, 
ascending triangle, yeah. Bullish pattern, 60% chance of a breakout. Um, well, we've already got a breakout anyway, so, you know, there's not a lot of volume there, but it could just dwindle off and then shoot up. Who knows? Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of liquidity there. Obviously, it's 11 cents. Um, it's got buyers. Uh, it's got the buyers. I've obviously buyers and sellers. All right. Um, let's just do one last thing before we go. All right. Relative strength index and a MACD up. Let's have a quick look at that. Okay. Those of you that are following my channel, you know that I like my RSI to be bright green. So I can see it more clearly. Okay. And then MACD, let's have a look. Okay. I um, know you guys can not really see that as clearly when I play it back. All right, so the MACD is going sideways. All right, bit of a bearish one at the moment, bearish cross. Okay, but that's not a true reflection of the price action. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Okay, we've got a bullish MACD on uh, potentially. Okay, but it's not really got any momentum. All right, so we've got the cross. No momentum. Now it's curling back over. It could just bounce off the line. And then you could see the momentum. But this is what you want to see. You want to see the momentum gradually building. You want to see that shooting up to the stars. All right. And the RSI is just going sideways. Okay. So it's a potentially bullish triangle. Potential continuation pattern. Okay. Obviously, you've got a one wave. And you could see that coming back down. A, B, C correction. And then you see a free wave to the upside. All right. But that's my first. Uh, look on CHSB. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments about that. Do you think it's one that you're willing to invest in? Okay, now would not be a bad time to put a buy in and see what happens. Put your stop loss below there. That's what I would do if I was playing this, but I'm not. Okay, put a buy in over here. All right, well, it's hanging on down here quietly. Okay, if it manages to dwindle off underneath this line. You have your stop loss, okay? Uh, your stop limit, you put that on, and it will take you out of the trade quickly, okay? As long as the, the, the liquidity is there for you to get out, all right? So when you're buying, consider that as well, if you decide, okay, guys? Or you might just think it's a long-term hold, and you're you know you're just happy to just buy it and hold it anyway. Completely up to you guys. But that is CHSB. I hope you enjoyed that. We've got one more for you to look at. This also came, came through from a subscriber today. Plutus DeFi, PLT, okay? 34 cents, $7 million market cap, very low. Total supply, 107 million, rank 603, and it looks quite new. 28th of July, it's only a month old, okay? Now, what is Plutus DeFi? It's obviously DeFi. Okay, it's a full stack DeFi aggregator, plugging in multiple products and DeFi applications into one single platform, focusing on user experience, design, privacy, and anonymity. Okay, um, circulating supply 21 million. Uh, yeah, there's not going to be much um, of a picture that we can paint on the chart. If we lower the time frame, Okay, got an uptrend going and we've got the volume increasing. Okay, we're on a one day. We've also got that W forming. I'll go back to that. Okay, you can see this big W forming on the one day. Okay, paints a better picture on the seven day at the moment. You can see this W coming. You know, is that potentially a move brewing to the upside? Okay, keep an eye on that one. Rank 603. Also on KuCoin, we might as well go and over and have a look at that. Not on Uniswap. I thought this was a Uniswap coin. You know, so new. But yeah, it's on KuCoin. Okay, let's go and have a look at PLT. And one thing I didn't do is I didn't do the uh, the upcoming events for um, CHSB. So we'll do that as well before we go. Okay, PLT. USDT pair. 
Well, let's have a look. Okay. Very new. Okay. Um, you never know what can happen with these. This could just shoot off to the upside, guys. Um, there's always a potential that is very low cap. All right. And um, there's definitely potential for that to happen. All right. So, um, yeah. Keep an eye on that. We lower the time frame. Okay, yeah, so it is in an uptrend. Um, however, it did just put in a lower low um, as opposed to that one. Higher high than a lower low. Now we need to see whether this is going to put in a higher, uh, a lower high and then come back down. But at the moment, it's just pretending, it's just going sideways by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's early, it's only a month old. You know, it's too early to tell just by looking at the charts. And we need to go in and kind of look at a few more things as to whether this is a good investment for me or not. So we're off to a good start. The fact that it's a new project and it's D5. All right. So when you get beyond these D5 projects, okay, there's a high probability that they're going to pump because it's all about D5 right now. Okay, but well, not everything is as it seems, okay? Uh, the website looks quite okay. It looks like a good design. Um, the first thing you see is lend and earn, you know, so that's definitely, you know, um, what you want to see when you're looking at DeFi. Privacy, full anonymity, DeFi on the dark web. Mm. Use level privacy, market level transparency. That might turn a few people off if you start talking about dark web and stuff like that. Self-sovereign wealth, not your keys, not your coins. Control your cryptocurrency by a non-custodial solution and withdraw your funds at any time. Okay. Lend and earn payroll and payments, derivatives, DeFi as a service. Integrate our smart contracts into wallets, exchanges, institutional dark pools and other service providers, whether front end or back, and Plutus DeFi builds bridges between pockets of liquidity with DeFi. So that sounds similar to REN protocol with the whole dark pool thing. Well, I don't understand it too much, but I've heard it. Um, that's something that REN protocol integrates. Okay, we've actually got details of the team here. We've got some real faces. Okay, um, so we've got Arnie Hill, who's the CEO and founder, partner of Obsidian Capital, investor in 31 blockchain companies okay i'm not going to go on a linkedin and, and check them out but i'm looking for any big names that they might have worked for in the past and this is just a first glance okay so i might miss something but we don't have all day this is a video okay we've got citibank here you know, product and operation CEOs, co-founder, Nissan, okay, uh, gold money, over four years, Harper Ledger, development specifically in Ethereum, okay, and uh, I've got a few integrations, but can't see any partnerships at the moment, if we go to about, So we start in a DeFi lending aggregate. What is Plutus DeFi? Plutus DeFi is a full stack DeFi aggregator, bringing in multiple products and DeFi applications into one single platform, focusing on user experience, design, privacy, and on an on 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 a half step towards truly taking control away from corruptible centralized bankers and financial institutions. We are the solution to achieve a total decoupling and true sovereign wealth for everyone with our strong focus on anonymized privacy at the protocol level. Uh, okay, money markets compound of EZX curve dot five. DAIUSDC, Nexus, Mutual Offering, MetaMask, or Trezor. Okay. Because it supports a few wallets. And by the way, you know, if you did want to buy any of these wallets, okay, uh, well, like a Ledger or a Trezor, I do have a link in the description. Okay, so, you know, always be safe. You can store your crypto offline in a cold wallet, all right? If it's not your keys, it's not your crypto, 
Okay, so go and have a look in the description if you want to buy a ledger or a trays or got an Amazon link, we'll take you straight there and you can buy whatever you want to buy from there. Alright guys. Um Okay. Yeah, because I recently became a Amazon partner, alright guys, and that's for certain products or whatever. If you want to buy it, you might as well buy it through me. Support the channel. Alright guys. But yeah, don't go out of your way to get it. Alright guys. That's if you are looking for that and you do need one, feel free to use my link in the description. That helps to support me as well. Alright, and I do appreciate all of you guys, every subscriber, everyone supporting the channel. I do appreciate that. Alright, so yeah, first look at Plutus. Plutus looks quite interesting, okay? Uh, like I said, I, I don't know too much about it, all right, but at first glance, it does look like a bit of an interesting one. I'm always interested in new projects. This is only a month old. That is definitely appealing to me, okay? If we look on CoinMarketCal, okay? Now, before I move on, before I do that for Plutus, I did say I will check out Swissborg, all right? So let's check out Swissborg. Uh, quickly and see if there's any news or any uh, upcoming events for Swissborg. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Nothing there. Okay, so nothing for CHSB. And let's move on to Plutus. PLT. Okay. For search. Anything coming up for Plutus? Okay, we have a staking launch, okay, on the 28th of September, that's a month away, all right, so that could potentially make the coin pop, you know, we'll have to wait and see, but um, yeah, that's got me a little bit bullish on Plutus, all right, with the fact that it's a new token, okay, the fact that they are trying to do something different in DeFi, they reckon they've got a unique selling point there, I won't be able to validate that, but you know, I'll take their word for it. All right, guys, the website looks okay. The market cap is low, all right, and they've also got staking launching on the 28th of September. Okay. Yeah. That was added on the 10th of August. And the 28th allows us to bring forward our plans from staking implementation in Q4 to within eight weeks from now or sooner. Okay, yeah, so watch this one. Okay, definitely keep an eye on that. PLT. You know, if you did buy now, you'd be extremely early on that. All right, it's 33 cents. All right, but don't watch that. All right, just because it's not one tenth of a penny doesn't mean it's not a low cap gem. This could be potentially a low cap gem. All right, and it is looking like one to me, but we'd have to wait and see. And one thing I would also normally do is I'll go on YouTube after this and I would start looking for videos and see who's been talking about it. What's been said about it? Probably see if they've got got their own channel. We'll have a look, find out what's going on, find out if there's uh, been any previous developments. We want to find out who their partners are, partnerships, anything else that could potentially be, you know, a bullish factor speculatively, and that's what would make me a little bit more bullish on something like this. But at first glance, okay, Swissborg CHSB doesn't really grab my attention. Uh, the only thing that does grab my attention is that there is a triangle form uh, on CHSB. I'll just go back. There is a triangle form on CHSB, and that could be a potential bullish continuation pattern after we've got that big impulse to the upside. Uh, let's just calculate how big that was. If we go from the bottom, so 600% move. Okay, so if this was to put in a free wave, that could potentially be a lot bigger than that, all right? Or roughly about the same amount, okay? But, yeah, we'll have to wait and see whether that does play out. I'll definitely go back and check and find out what's going on with that. And then on PLT, I'm a little bit bullish on that um, at first glance because of the fact that it's so new. It's putting in that little W shape at the bottom, and I know it's got another little W on the lower uh, on it, um, um, yeah, it's got another little W forming if we go like that, you know, and that could potentially be going to the upside. But yeah, that's my analysis. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. 
Let me know whether you think this is a good idea. And, you know, if you want me to cover more coins, keep them coming. And what I'll do, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll try to pick three coins, of, of the, uh, three coins at random and I will have a quick look at them. I might have a first glance at them quickly to see whether they're eligible to even bother going through a video with um, on. But um, yeah, we'll do that. Um, hopefully start doing that. And potentially even start doing some coin check live streams in the future. All right, that's another idea that I've got. I've got some exciting ideas for the channel, guys. Keep you guys entertained. Keep you guys interested, you know. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.